Wild Card Weekend is here, and it's time to make some predictions. Now, how I do my prediction is with this website called Playoff Predictor. It was um, suggested by a subscriber named Sean D. So thank you, Sean, for giving me this link. And when it comes to my predictions, I'm going to start off with the AFC. Now, the first game I'm going to look at is Titans at the Chiefs. Now, when you look at this, the Chiefs are the team with multiple years of playoff experience. It's in Arrowhead Stadium, a very tough stadium to play in and especially get a W in. And not only that, the Chiefs are simply the more talented team with the better coach. Versus the Titans, they don't have DeMarco Murray. And they're one of these teams that are just happy to be there. It's been the first time for the Titans have made the playoffs in a long time. It might be since 2008, I want to say. So it's been a long time since the Titans have been out of playoff contention. I just feel as if they're happy to be there. Let's give it to the Chiefs in this one. I'm going to give the Chiefs the victory on this one. Next one we got is the Bills at the Jaguars. Now, when it comes to the Bills and all that, I feel like they're less talented on paper versus the Jaguars have more talent on paper. And out of the teams, I feel like Jacksonville has been giving a lot more attention during this season because I feel as if the, the Jaguars are just known for being so historically bad, especially in recent memory, so many 2-14 and 14 seasons and whatnot. And I think it surprised a lot of people with how um, talented their defense is. And when it comes to this all, the Jaguars are the better team on paper and all of that. And they do call themselves Saxonville. Even the Jaguars Twitter account call themselves Saxonville. It's a little bit of a tool bag nickname, I'm not going to lie. But hey, they, they deserve it. And it's a cool nickname, I'm not going to lie. So when it comes to this and all, I am actually going to pick the Bills in this one. Simply because I don't really think home field is going to play a big advantage right here. It's going to be Florida in December. It's not really the most intimidating kind of weather conditions and all that. Jacksonville isn't known for being like a Mile High Stadium, a Lambeau Field, or anything like that. And also, it's really the quarterback play here. Tyrod Taylor has only made um, or has only had 21 turnovers since 2015 versus Blake Bortles average 21 turnovers per game. So just to put this in perspective, I feel like the Bills are going to make less mistakes than the Jaguars. So I'm going to pick the Bills in this one. Next, let's go to the NFC. This is probably the most anticipated matchup of the weekend. It's going to be Panthers at the Saints. And this is obviously going to be very interesting because both these teams are probably the most likely to be in the Super Bowl out of the bunch in on this weekend matchup for Wild Card Weekend. And not only that, it they're also divisional rivals. And and obviously, the Saints haven't been in the playoffs for a while. It's the first time for the Panthers been in the playoffs ever since they um, faced the Broncos in the Super Bowl. So it's definitely very, very interesting right here. But I'm going to have to pick the Saints in, with, in this one. The last time the Saints have been one and done was in 2010, and that was against the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, they're in the Superdome uh, this Sunday or Saturday, whatever, whenever the matchup is. And when you look at that, they're going to be playing in New Orleans. And also, Saints played the Panthers pretty well, especially in the past two matchups. I believe they are our past four matchups. They are they have a three and one record against them. Cam Newton, obviously, he's a very inconsistent quarterback, but he doesn't have a great resume with his playoffs. Especially when I look at the Super Bowl, obviously, that's always going to um, just going to be a big asterisk towards his name, that Super Bowl 50 with Cam Newton just not diving on that ball. I'm going to have to pick the Saints when, in this one. And the next matchup is going to be Falcons at the Rams. Now, when I like looking at this matchup, the most interesting part is I think Jared Goff and Matt Ryan are very similar quarterbacks. I really do. So I think that's going to play a very, um, very interesting matchup right here. And when I look at this and all that, the Falcons, I feel like, are kind of underrated on the defensive side of the football. And it's going to be a tough game. But when I also look at the Rams, they really got all sides of the football really carried out. I mean, when you look at um, their special teams unit is great. Their defense looks uh, very, very good. And their offense obviously looks great for the Rams. Versus the Falcons, yeah, they, look good. they looked okay on offense this year. They looked um, better on defense this year. Obviously, I'm, I'm a big supporter of their defense. Obviously, Dan Quinn knows what he, a thing or two about defense ever since his Seattle days. But when it comes to special teams and all that, Matt Bryant, yeah, he's a, he's a good kicker and all of that. 
and when it comes to uh, RJ Rogers good return man, but I think I'm going to have to pick the Rams here. I don't think Jared Goff's going to have a good game. I think he might throw a couple interceptions, but I think Todd Gurley can have a great game right here, and I just think the Rams are the, just the more well-rounded team right here. I'm going to pick the Rams in that one. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Obviously, I think it's going to be a very interesting weekend. I think for the majority of the part, I think three out of the four matchups are going to be very closely contested and really can go either way. And I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Titans fans, but I'm pretty sure the Chiefs are going to own you this, uh, this weekend. So anyway, guys, just share your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.